we can continue by building the main sketch on the part. As this is a revolution, we're going to use a rotational method by defining the axis and the main plane. And we are going to position this section in rotation based on what we need to get at the end for the sketch. So we can just rotate the sketch or the plane sketch just to get as much information as we can to build at the part and to avoid those bumps that we have at the, at the bottom. We still have one bump at the top, top, but it doesn't matter. We will handle that afterwards. Then again, a revolution, we need to get the main axis, so the z-axis, we are going to convert it. And also we are going to put it as constructed geometry. We don't need to keep it uh, as main geometry. And also as we are going to make here a fillet or a, a, a sphere, we'll just need to get a help line just to get the tangency and to make the revolution uh, at this point. Then we can build our sketches by creating lines, creating arcs and so on. And sometimes we just need to offset the lines just to give us some more uh, material in order to remove it uh, in other options, in other functions. So here we are just going to create all the curves, uh, everything except the, 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 the blades, because we are going to do that afterwards in another ske sketch. When the sketch is done, we are going to make a revolve just to have the complete part on the two sides. And we will continue that with the definition of one blade. 